Hi, I'm Courtney Cox, and I play Gail Weathers in the Scream franchise, all six of them. I loved it from the second I read it. First of all, I was just so happy that I survived Scream 5. The writers are incredible, and it's so scary, and I was so excited that Gail Weathers was back in it. She's evolved so much since the very beginning. Uh, Gail was very aggressive and only out for herself, and then you see a softer side of her around Scream 3, and then um, this particular one, I think she got a little a bit of her edge back, which was nice. She is relentless. She won't stop, even if she promises she will. Sam and Tara have moved to New York, and um, that's where Gail has a morning show. And she hears about Ghostface because of the news, and um, she had written a book, and she wasn't supposed to. She promised she wouldn't, and she gets back involved in their lives. She becomes a part of the group, and she becomes a target for Ghostface. New York is a perfect place to have this movie set. Um, Ghostface can hide amongst so many people, and yet he can see you. He's always there to see you, but you don't necessarily know where he is. And especially set around this time of, you know, the Halloween time of year where people are in costumes. It's just genius. I think it's, it's added so much horror to it just by the location. These films to me are so frightening and, and gory in a good way. It's so realistic, the way they do the special effects and the stabbings, but I mean, I think that people are gonna go nuts. It's so much fun and to see this with an audience and the, the build and the excitement and the laughter. Matt and Tyler, our directors, you know, they're huge fans of Wes. I mean, I think Wes was a huge inspiration to them just in their directing career alone. They are so hip, they're so visual, they're such great people, they're so open, and yet they know exactly what they want. Every time, the last time and then this time, they just keep elevating it and, you know, you don't, they don't ride on their laurels of last time it was such a great film. They amped it up in every way, and the writers did, and it's just, um, I think they're incredible. One of the things that I think Kevin Williamson and of course Wes Craven brought to this franchise and what they did was they created a horror film that besides the, you know, the meta and going and, and telling us what we shouldn't do in a horror film and then we do it, um, everything was played realistically. So it's not, it's not campy. While it's really funny, it's played seriously. So, you know, I just think what they did with the comedy and then the horror, but the, you, you actually are invested in the characters more than, you're not laughing at them. You really don't want them to go because they're so engaging. And I think what Wes created is incredible. And then the guys, you know, they just ran with it and made it up to date, more frightening. Everything that Wes would have done, would wanted to have done, and they, the guys did it. I think people will love seeing Kirby again. Uh, Hayden is a great actor. I loved seeing her and, and get, getting reacquainted with her after so many years. Uh, she's a great, she was a great character. Um, and this, she's got such attitude and in a great way. She's funny. I think people will love it. It was great to be on set with Hayden. She's such a nice girl and she's such a talented actor. Yeah, I just had a really good time with her. I've worked with Dermot before, um, he was on Friends, and he's just such a great guy. Really, he brought so much fun to the set. He's a big storyteller. People just are engaged in his, what he's saying all the time. I don't know, I think he brought a lot of heart to the, to the film. And, you know, when you're so based, when you're so honest as an actor, it's just nice to have, grounds things. I think that the kills in this movie are I don't know how the ghost face arm didn't fall off. I mean, I've never seen more stabbings, more things. It was unbelievable. And like I said, after, well, after the first one, I just had to stop looking because it's crazy. There's more stabbings per person than I've ever seen. And uh, they found some new places to get stabbed, to stab people. You have to make it bigger and better. Of course, people expect that. If you didn't, it would, you know, you have to amp it up every time. And uh, they accomplished that. They did a great job.